Hello again, everyone. Today's video is going to be an extension of my previous video on perimeter and an earlier one that I did on, on area, and they were both on rectangles. So what I thought I'd do today is instead of doing a demonstration lesson, I would show you this website I, I've discovered that was uh, referred to me by a friend and colleague and uh, it's really interesting and it's kind and i thought i use it as an extension on both perimeter and area by showing it to you so like i said this video isn't going to be the typical video where i'm showing a lesson and then giving a bonus activity like that it's just a source that i would like to share with you so you can use it in the future if you like for anything so why don't i go ahead and take a look at that source now So this is the link I was talking to you about the website here. It's called Wolfram Alpha. And like I said, a friend and colleague of mine referred this to me as a potential source and an extension activity to use, especially in math. So I thought I'd share this with you all today and just kind of give you a little bit of an outline of how, uh, what it looks like and what I'm gonna do with it today. And like I said earlier, I'm going to kind of tie in my perimeter and area a video with this. I'm going to use the Cox Snowflake as uh, my demonstration here just to show you how to do it. And now once you've seen this, I'll leave a link down in the description below and you can go ahead and take a look at this yourself and you can kind of play around with it uh, uh, if you like. Okay, and you can type in anything math related to this and it'll give you uh, just different samples and things like that. Okay, so the name of the website here is Wolfram Alpha. Okay, and you just, uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can click on it. And then when you come to the page, you can just type in anything you like math related to, uh, to look at, okay, as an extension. So again, I'm gonna talk about the Cox Snowflake here. So I've already typed that in, and then this will appear. The iterations here is, is showing me is that one. And then here is the first part of what the Cox Snowflake will look like. Now, I'm going to show you several other iterations as well, so you can see just how it will develop as, uh, as, a, as, as I show you. Okay, now, why am I showing you this, you're wondering? Uh, again, because I was talking about perimeter and area in my other videos, I thought that this would be a really cool way of showing you how not everything has a definite perimeter. And Cox Snowflake here, has a definite area, but an infinite perimeter. And what I'm gonna show you with these iterations here is how that works, okay? Again, like I said, this is showing you that this particular shape has a definite area, but an infinite perimeter here. And I'm gonna show that to you right now with this link. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of outline this snowflake here. And then what my plan is, is to increase each iteration by two, just to show you what I mean here. So I'm trying to establish an area here, so to show you what I mean here. In case you're like, well, what does he mean? It's a has a definite area, but an infinite perimeter. So I'm gonna show you this here, and I apologize for the lines not being straight here. But again, I don't want to take too long on this video. I'm just showing you this as a source to use. You don't have to look up Cox Snowflake at all. You can type anything math related and just play with it. So I'm just showing you this really cool function here with uh, following up with a video I made previously here. Okay, so that was one iteration. So now I'm showing you three. Okay, and I left the outline up so you can see just how it will Pretty much it will, there it is, see? The area remains the same. However, you can see the perimeter is dividing in thirds here, and it's showing you a more definite snowflake here. Okay, and this is all I wanted to show you here. And this is what Wolfram Alpha offers you. It's just an extension and an enrichment uh, way of doing math, okay? So if you're finding maybe something a little too easy, you can use this source as a way to kind of extend or enrich yourself with the math activity here. 
Let's do one more here. Let's go ahead and type five. So I'm going to type five, then I'm going to compute, and then I'm just going to scroll back down now and show you this again. As you can see, the outline has not moved. This is what I like about what I'm doing now, is I can keep the outline and show you stuff like this here. So there is the area, still has a definite area, but you can see the perimeter continues to basically divide up into thirds here for the clock snowflake. Okay, so that's what I wanted to just share with you uh, for this website here called Wolfram Alpha. And if you'll go down a little bit, I'll show you some other things it has. Let me just erase this now. So I'm done talking about this. And it kind of gives you other, you know, just a little bit of information about what the Cox Snowflake can do here. It's showing you here the length here and the area. And again, I'm not going to go into all of this. I'm just kind of showing you what the other features are of Wolfram Alpha here. And let me just erase that. Let's keep scrolling down. Okay, limited pro limiting properties. It shows, and this shows a whole bunch of different stuff related queries. It has other types that it has here that you can look at. Here it's got the cock anti snowflake here, the anti square ice fractal, just other stuff that you can see related to this. Okay, and this is all I just wanted to share with you today was this uh, website that I found. And um, again, it's something for any of you who just want to try to just do an extension or maybe an enrichment activity or just do something you know different. You know, that, and that's what this channel of mine is all about is offering you sources. So I like and I enjoy making demonstration videos. But if someone brings something to my attention that looks really beneficial for you, the viewer, I'm going to share it with you because I think it's only going to be able to help you, okay? especially in the situation that many of us are in, where maybe it's not easy to, you know, get out and get something. You can find it online here. So um, that's what I wanted to do was just show you that uh, website there and, um, and just, you know, show kind of something that I did previously and tie it in and uh, just let, you know, just, just if I've got something to share, I'm going to share it with you. Um, because that's that's what I do. Okay, that's what this channel is all about: is just sharing links and resources to help the you, the viewer, uh, you know, with the whatever you're uh, doing. Okay, so that'll do it for this video, and I greatly appreciate you spending part of your day with me. And as always, please send me an email. I'll leave a link right up above here of my email, and I'll leave it in the description down below so you can. Uh, you're, feel free to email me anything you want. If you got more questions about this or you want me to see me do something else, please just send me a message and we can make an arrangement. Okay. And as always, please take care out there. Have a great day.